Hey y'all, welcome to Lone Star MTV. My name is Patrick and we are in Tennessee and it is fall. Take a look at those colors. Just beautiful, gorgeous day. Anyway, today we are going to do a little trail riding. Uh, I'm gonna hit up this local spot not too far from the house uh, called White Oak Mountain. It's uh, 1,300 acres on the, uh, the Southern Adventist uh, University campus. Uh, 800 of those acres is forest and they have done a lot of good stuff with the uh, About 500 foot of elevation they have so let's uh, Let's get strapped up and we'll go for it So a little fun fact I live about five or six minutes away from where little Debbie snack cakes are made So no joke I can stand in my backyard when the wind is blowing the right way and I can smell honey buns and brownies and all kinds of other good stuff <laughs> being baked. It's awesome, but not. So welcome to White Oak Mountain. It's a pretty diverse trail system. Um, it's got a fair amount of climbing in it. Um, still trying to get acclimated all the climbing around here. In case y'all didn't know, uh, moved here to uh, the Chattanooga area about five months ago. And uh, I am uh, really enjoying it. It's uh, fall right now, obviously. All the leaves, gonna make for some sketchy downhills. But it's just beautiful out here. So we'll get started on the climb. And I will see you guys at the top. So here we are at one of the midpoints. And this is basically like a spoke system. So you have trails that shoot off into different directions. It's pretty cool. So this is the top, we're up here, this is Cottonwood, the start of it, and it's basically got like a ride around that goes through these trees, pop out here, you have a wood feature, like I said they do a, a great job with the signage out here, you know, making sure the liability is on the rider. This first feature can be a little tricky, especially with the leaves and stuff. Because you go off of about a foot and a half, maybe a two foot drop into a corner. And then it basically just switch backs back and forth. There's a drop and some jumps and stuff over there. Give you an idea of what it looks like from the side. Let's ride it. Get my footing. rollers into a loose leaf covered berm a drop jump gotta be careful with this thing that's bucked the crap out of me before Step up, right hip.
This is a big husk of flat. Oh, yeah. Hurt. This video is for reference. This video concludes that it is one and one half marks tall. Yeah, dude. It's basically like me and a half. Ugh. Big rollers, man. You can really get moving pretty good through here. Woo -hoo. And that's cottontail. So many leaves you can hardly tell where the trail is. Now we're headed over to the other side of the mountain. A trail called Midridge, obviously. Midridge basically just crosses from one side of the mountain to the other, across the mid ridge. There's another ridge that goes up there. We're going to climb up there in a minute. I'll we'll see you there. All right, points unknown. This is another trail that crisscrosses the mountain from north to south, south to north, depending on which way you're going. And uh, it's a good trail it's got uh, got some good flow it's gonna be sketchy with all these leaves though but it's got some good flow it's got some a uh, little bit of technical mixed into it um but there's not a lot of elevation right here it's a lot of um kind of undulating Dude, those leaves are so sketchy Anyway, it's got these uh, rolling grade reversals and stuff like that. The leaves are definitely making it run considerably slower than it normally would. And I'm running it slower too, just because I know these leaves are slick, slick. that and all of these leaves you normally just rail it and it's like they fell like they fell all overnight On to Copperhead. Whoop, whoop. That's a derailer snatcher back there. Let's put those two rocks. All right. All right, so for those of you that are wanting to follow along, 
recap parked here up rolling green to here rolling green over to southern mission southern mission over to cottontail climbed back up from the bottom up to mid ridge took mid ridge up to points unknown road points unknown all the way to the other side of the mountain to copperhead down copperhead which is what we just popped out of and now we're here at another wheel and spoke set up and this is the downhill only trail called nutty buddy and we're going to climb up that and ride that next all right so here we are up at the top this is where nutty buddy starts and hopefully we can beat this rain that's going to come in all right let her rip tater chip Step down, table. Step down. Step down. Another table, another table. How are you? Shark fin. Step down. Double. Oops. And that's the end of the first section. I don't ride this bottom section as often as I should. It was a lot of fun. It's really, really good. Mainly because the climb up is a, it's a hike, a bike, pretty much straight up the side of the mountain. And, uh, yeah. Let's get to it. down here is so good. Oh, case. Yeah, this is because I don't ride it very much. It's hard to believe this is in my own backyard. That berm's tricky because it closes in on itself. This one down here is too. So sharp. Oh. There you have it. Nutty buddy. For everybody who's watched, subscribed, liked, shared. Much love to you guys. I appreciate it very, very much. And I hope you guys enjoyed this little ride along. 
and I'm going to pedal my tired behind back to the truck. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope to see y'all out on the trail.